One minute we're sitting in the California pizza kitchen. Next minute we're sharpening lawnmower blades. I usually like to go ahead and sharpen a couple other items while I got this out. My machete and a little hatchet. I use these a lot out in the yard, so go ahead and sharpen them while I got this thing going. Don't take but a couple of minutes and I got a sharp machete. And like I said, I just use this thing out in the yard to hack off limbs and roots out of the ground, stuff like that. But uh, feel free to come on over. Yeah, I wanted to throw that in there in case there's any uh, home invaders or something that watch my channel. Uh, I wanted to let them know that, you know, even though I'm surrounded by uh, cute little dogs, um, I do have a machete and I may or may not have some other items. Hey, you know how I did that video and I had to go back and apologize to all them people that I probably uh, offended. Uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead ahead of time and apologize, you know, in case I offend you. When I, when I mow grass, I get kind of worked up, uh, I don't know why I just cutting grass is my thing. I get all upset when I think about people that don't cut their grass. Uh, so just kind of, you know, kind of go with me here on this part. I do live back here in a cul-de-sac. There's like three or four other retired guys and uh, we're some grass cutting fools. Now we, we are cutting grass like every other day back here. Somebody's cutting grass every day, pretty much. And we, you know, that's just my thing. So uh, anyway, don't get too mad at me. Well, got the grass mowed. Let me take this time to uh, encourage some of you people out there in the world. Mow your grass. If you live in a subdivision, you live in a trailer park, you live where you got grass and there's people, mow your grass. Like military people, they'll come on and say stuff like, you know what, in the morning, when you start off, make your bed. Because when you make your bed, starting off your day in a productive way, doing something positive, giving yourself a, uh, you know, getting yourself in a good frame of mind to work. Well, here's my take on that. Got something in my eye, probably grass. Probably need to start wearing goggles. Anyway, here's my take on that. If you'll mow your, uh, well, if you'll make your bed in the house where nobody will even see it, Mow your grass, because everybody sees it. Everybody sees when you don't mow your grass. They don't see your bed. They see your grass. So get out there. Don't look bad. Mow your grass. Now, of course, if you're a lady or, you know, you're sick, you're older, whatever, and you can't mow your grass, I can understand that. I'll tell you a little story. I had a neighbor one time. And the lady had two sons. And uh, I look over there one day, and the guy that lives next door to me was cutting her grass. I'm like, why are you cutting her grass? He's like, well, she's paying me. Well, I look over at her son. He's running around in the yard with his little hair on his chest and playing soccer and crap in the yard. I was thinking, you would have had to kill me. When I was a kid, it, for my mama to have to pay somebody to cut her grass... And I'm running around, old enough to have hair on my chest. I don't know about that, man. I'd have been cutting my mama's grass. So if you got a son, get your son to cut, his, cut your grass. Of course, now I had hair on my chest when I was about four or five. So that probably doesn't really count. That kid was a little older. I should probably say he's 15 or 16. How about that to clear that up? But uh, anyway, cut your mama's grass. Cut your own grass. Cut somebody's grass. If you're capable of cutting grass, get outside and cut grass. Now you might be saying, well, her son had, uh, he probably had a game that day or he had practice that day or something like that. Cut your mama's grass. 
Do you hear me? Cut your mama's grass. There is no excuse, absolutely no excuse for any mama that's got a son that's living in a house with her that's not cutting, that cut your mama's grass. That's your mama. Come on. <laughs> You know, my daughter told me on the way back from Pensacola that I needed to start doing videos about my outfit, so I thought this would be a good one to start with. Uh, I picked this outfit because I like this hat because it's got a real big bill, and if I get real sweaty and the sweat drips off, it doesn't get in my face and my eyes. Um, this shirt, I uh, picked it because it's a uh, Jason Hayward shirt. You can't see the back. Can you see the back? Can you see the back, Amy? It's a Jason Hayward shirt. He no longer plays for the Braves. So I figure it's okay to wear it, cut the grass in. Plus it's blue, and I'm feeling kind of blue since the Braves lost their game yesterday to uh, the Yankees. Uh, these glasses, I wear them everywhere so I can see. Uh, they're very fashionable, uh, very convenient. They go around my neck so I don't lose them. Oh, sorry. Uh, the shorts, um, black, matches everything. Okay, so for those of you that don't know that, black matches everything everything Johnny Cash knew that all right and the shoes complete the ensemble uh, I've told you about those shoes before those are my working shoes when those shoes goes on go on when those shoes go on the work starts how's that Amy was that boring was so good. she said that was so good you probably couldn't hear because her face being under the thing uh, anyway, have a good day. Nichols Retirement Empire.